Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is widest vertical area between two points containing no points. So in this question, we are given n points on a 2D plane containing of a point with x and y coordinates. And we have to return the widest vertical area between two points such that no points are inside that area. So vertical area of fixed width extending infinitely along the y axis. So it has infinite height and we have to find the widest vertical area so we have to find the widest area on the x axis so we are only dealing with the x coordinates for the points so let us take this example and see how we can solve this question so this is the y axis and this is the x axis and we have to find the maximum distance between the points and first we are given the points are 8 comma 7 so this is 8 comma 7 and this is 9 comma 9 this is 7 comma 4 and this is 9 comma 7 and this is infinite so you don't have to worry about the vertical distance on the y-axis. We have to find the distance between. So you have to find out the distance along the x-axis. And there shouldn't be any points between the distance. So if you take this is the widest distance. But there is a point here in between. So you can't take this. So this is the one more distance between the two points which is having one. And this is having one. So the maximum among the both is 1, so 1 is the output. So to check if there is no points between any two points, like this in this case, you, if you want to check if there is no points between any two points, we have to sort the array according to the values of the x-axis, right? So this is the input given to us, let me write it again. So if you want to sort it according to the values inside the x-axis, you can write a comparator which will sort the input points according to the values in the x-axis. So after sorting, the final answer will look like this. So first, the smallest value is 7, 4, so that will appear. Next, the smallest value is 8, 7, because 8 is here. And then you will take 9, 7. And then again you will take 9, 9. And here you can see the values in the x place. So each point is represented by x, y, right? And the values in the x place are sorted in ascending order and now if you check any two points the distance between any two points if it is called x you can be sure that there is no point in between so that is why you need to sort the array based on x value so after so sorting we start from i is equal to 1 i declare a variable max initially 0 now i will subtract 8 minus 7 so 8 minus 7 equal to 1 so it will be updated to 1 i will move forward so i is equal to 2 so now it we will check 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 check if max of 1 comma 1 will still remain 1 so max will remain 1 now i is moving forward now i is here check if 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 check max of 0 comma 1 it will remain 1 and now i is here is out of bound so you end the iteration because you started the iteration from 1 and you reach the end of the array and whatever is present inside max will be returned as the output which is expected here try to do the same for example 2 and you will get the expected output now let's implement these steps in a java program so now that we have seen how to solve this question let us code it this is the function given to us and this is the input 2d grid and we have to return int which is the max width so let's start off by sorting the array and now we have to sort the array based on the ascending order of the x coordinates of the point. We are sorting according to these values for every point given in the points array. So these x coordinates will be sorted in ascending order. So to solve that I am writing a comparator where I am declaring two objects a and b. And then using the compare method to compare it to sort it according to the ascending. a should appear first and then b. So integer dot compare a of 0 comma b of 0 so we have sorted the points array with ascending order of x coordinates now i'm declaring the output which is an integer so i'm going to name it max width and initially it will be 0 right and now i'm going to iterate through the points array from i is equal to 1 so that we can compare the previous element in each iteration now i have to keep updating the max width each time inside the loop so max width will be updated using the maximum value of the current max width and the distance between x coordinates so we start with i is equal to 1 so this and this we find the difference that will give you the width points of 0 points 
i of 0 minus points i minus 1 of 0. So this for loop will happen for all the points inside the points array and finally it will be updated inside max width which I am going to return as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are being accepted. Now let's try to submit the code and a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n because we are sorting the array and the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.